Honourable Member for Launceston. Thank you, Mr President. Mr President, many here would be aware of some of the incredible work that's being done in our communities to help people with cancer. One of the biggest cancer fundraisers each year in Launceston is the Cancer Council's Relay for Life, a 20-hour marathon to raise funds for cancer research and support. Over the years, Relay for Life has run. We've seen it at different venues, and it always brings out fantastic people in our community who want to come together and do something to make a difference for people with cancer and those who are working to find newer, better ways of treating it. This year was the first time it was run at the Silver Dome for the Launceston event. Now in its 23rd year, Relay for Life raises significant funds each year and over the weekend at the beginning of March, the event started with a lap by cancer survivors and their carers and loved ones to acknowledge the fight that so many have had with the disease. During the marathon, teams including families, work colleagues, community groups and individuals walk or run for hours and hours to show their own commitment to battling cancer and supporting those who suffer with it. Being held at the Silver Dome this year, there was plenty on for the teams to do when they weren't walking. Live performers donated their time, kids games were set up and various activities for people of all ages were available to show that raising funds for a serious cause could also be fun. On the track, there were novelty laps, including three-legged lap, the egg and spoon race, the chicken dance lap, the selfie lap and the wig walk. Off the track, there was a video gaming competition, free play arcade games, silent disco, face painting, food trucks and a complimentary breakfast. The money raised from Relay for Life goes to a whole host of different things. For example, $10 helps to provide free exercise programs to assist cancer patients in building strength and fitness during treatment. $30 helps transport cancer patients to and from their treatment. $50 helps the Cancer Support Line, 131120, provide free and confidential support on all aspects of cancer and $200 adds a wig to the wig library for lending to clients who are experiencing hair loss during cancer treatment. Mr President, while volunteering, volunteering for the event on that weekend, I saw some incredibly dedicated people having a go at the relay, having fun and connecting with others. People from all walks of life were taking part, including parents with their little babies, people in their 80s. It truly was an event for everyone. For Launceston in 2023, the final statistics are that there were 615 relayers, 46 teams, and a total funds raised of $106,697. A final shout out to the following teams for their fundraising efforts. Zanetto Builders, who raised $13,075. St Patrick's College, who had a very big team, raised $10,216. Team Labour of Love, who raised $8,493. Team Bowl and Buddies, who raised $8,472. And Prospectors Sunflowers, who raised $6,030. And the following individuals. Cole Zanetto, who raised $9,217. Kay, who raised $6,030. Saffron McFan, who raised $4,315. Danielle Zanetto, who raised $2,269. And Kathy West, who raised $1,381. An absolutely incredible effort for the people who participated and those who put so much work into making the event happen. I offer my sincerest congratulations to everyone involved and I know that the event and the funds raised truly do make a difference to the lives of cancer sufferers. Thank you.